Hello, in this video we are going to bridge from Solana to Injective using the Phantom Wallet and the Kepler Wallet. Okay, let's get started. So I have here the Phantom Wallet that has about a hundred dollars in Sol, as you can see. Okay, so we go to the hub, uh, the Injective hub. I'm gonna put the link in the description. This, by the way, the Injective Hub is the go-to place um, if you want to bridge or stake um, or even use it as a wallet. Um, it's basically the go-to place for almost everything. And it's made by Injective Labs, so it's official. Okay, so first things first. Um, one thing I noticed you cannot connect your phantom wallet if you click here. There is not an option for it. So what you need to do, these are the, the wallets basically that can be connected right away. If you come from Sol, from Solana, what you need to do is you need to go to bridge. And then here you can see that there are more chains. Okay. And you can also see that there is Solana. You click Solana and automatically it will ask to connect your phantom wallet. Here, pops up, you connect it. Okay, that's the wallet. It's connected. You don't need to click on connect anymore. As soon as you, uh, as soon as the, um, the address arrives or appears, it's done. Next thing is we need to connect our Kepler or Leap wallet. So if you, if you have if you don't have a Kepler or Leap wallet yet, it's very simple. There is also there are videos on it on this channel on how to set up um, a Kepler or Leap wallet. Uh, but you can also just go to Google. Type in Leap wallet extension and take the first one and then it's um, here it will say add to Chrome. I al already have a Leap wallet so it just says remove from Chrome. But I'm gonna put uh, this link in the description as well as the, the Kepler wallet which I'm gonna use now and it's the same process. It's If you have a Phantom wallet and you manage to install it you will also have no problem, in, no problem installing the Leap or Kepler wallet. The only difference is Leap has the option where uh, you don't need to add tokens to it. So if you buy a meme coin or Talis, for example, or some some other coin other than Inch, it will automatically be in your wallet. Kepler doesn't have that. So maybe um, if you if that's important for you, then use Leap. Otherwise, for uh, all coins other than inch you have to come here and connect your Kepler wallet and then use the wallet. So I'm gonna connect my Kepler wallet here. You can also use MetaMask. Um but I'm gonna if if I can recommend out of MetaMask, Kepler and Leap, I would say Leap and Kepler for sure. One of these two. Let's connect Kepler. Here we can see already that we can Transfer also, let's do one. Transfer now. Confirm. I'm gonna pause the recording and come back when it's done. Okay, just so you can see it's uh, being transferred at the moment, it's being bridged. Um, I had to do this, do this two times. So the first time, um, for some reason, after I clicked on on bridge bridge, it uh, it just didn't work. So I refreshed it and did it again, and uh, now it's saying that it's being bridged. So I'm gonna pause the recording again and come back when it's done. All right, we are back. Actually, I just realized that we can already redeem our funds. So um, as soon as it reaches this point, we click on redeem your funds. Let's go. We wait a bit until it's completed. Okay, now we prove it in the Kepler wallet. So the Phantom wallet, that's uh, that's done. And we did it. Perfect. 
Next, we go to helixapp.com. I wonder if we can see Sol in our wallet. We do. Okay, let's go to Helix. So, we connect, as you can see, the wallet in question at the moment has about 70, 80, uh, 78 dollars, so to round about 2 inch in the wallet. Now we're gonna connect our Kepler wallet. We go to the swap. You can also go to uh, click on trade and then um, spot. If we prefer, then you have a, like more of a traditional, traditional um, trading experience, like you can, like you know from the centralized exchanges. Here you can also buy limit, uh, uh, like use limit orders to buy or sell, or simply use the market uh, market prices. But I'm gonna, I prefer to use the the swaps. So now we go and look for Sol. Here it is. And we switch it into inch. Okay. Swap. And we are done. Let's check in the wallet. Yes, everything worked perfectly. Awesome. Good, that was it for today's video. Please subscribe to the channel because Kira is creating, with his YouTube channel, is creating um, an educational platform and we are releasing a lot of videos on how to use the, the apps on Injective and more. So make sure to subscribe, turn on the notification bell and of course also like this video, comment if you have any questions and we will try to get back to you as soon as possible.